This looks good. Let's go for the sphere. Let's just go for Ren here. Sometimes in these situations they just can't deal with it and then if you're lucky and you top deck a expanded sphere, you're there already. I'm not gonna risk losing land here. Also we got the overcharged amalgam that can protect Ren, so maybe we can just naturally plus to seven. some cards here. Yeah, pawn just le lets us do our thing here. And Ren Realmbreaker is at 7, so... We counter this and then if they... If they don't have anything, we might be able to just ultimate naturally. I mean, they have to do something about this, right? Wow, okay. We just got to seven naturally. That's pretty amazing. And let's drop a sphere. And we just have Deluge open, Overcharged Amalgam. And yeah, this is how the prison starts. Now all we wanted to do here actually is um, just ramp a bit, get more mana going. Just draw some cards here. Just need more land, that's all we want. There's some land. Uh, should we take another deluge or reverie? Let's take a reverie, right? We still have the sphere for drawing. Mm. And we just want to make sure that we have uh, the amalgam open all the time. So I'm just gonna go Reverie here. Still have the overcharged amalgam open. If our opponent won't do anything noteworthy, we'll just use the mnemonic sphere. Sure. We always have temporary lockdown to deal with um, all those tokens. Now shark, that's fine, we got to populate. The only thing we want to counter here are like planeswalkers or stuff that would exile our graveyard. But apart from that, there isn't really any threat here. Mm -hmm. 
Yeah, Kaito is something that we want to counter because we don't have Planeswalker removal here. Exploit the Amalgam and counter the Kaito. Okay, play a land. Populate. And again, uh, we could use Lockdown here, but while this is 6 damage, our opponent only has 3 cards in hand, and we just need to make sure that we deny our opponent a card draw, or make sure that he doesn't play big threats like Shirid. Right, and now... Yeah, now we'll probably deploy the lockdown next turn. Ooh, Rafine, okay. Rafine, what do we do about Rafine? Let's start by drawing two cards. The populate is nice. Um, you know what, let's go with Lockdown and then we still have 4 mana open. For the Amalgam. And then we can... We can deal with Rafine next turn with it Populate. All we need to do here is make sure that our opponent, uh, you know, doesn't draw a lot of cards or gets any big threat down. And as long as we do that, we are in good shape. And we're back. Uh, okay, so pawn does have this plaza of heroes. That's kind of annoying. Mm. Oh wait, actually we can go, let's go depopulate. And then we can counter the plus activation with the amalgam. Right? If they choose to activate it. Everything is gone. We don't have any mana anymore to, you know, um, to have a counter spell open. But we can play the journeys, get another land on the board, and we're still at 12 life. Opponent has basically has a free turn here, but we're really, really far ahead. Sure. sure. Okay, and now we have so many resources that we can actually start winning here. I ran a round breaker. And we just start applying pressure. Pawn can trade here, we don't really care. Pawn is down to two cards. We have a counter spell open. We can actually after attack play the sphere for some more value. Yeah, this is GG. I mean, we just have locked them out completely of the game. Yeah. Let's draw some cards.
And we just keep going. Blocks, sure, no problem. And uh, we just play sphere and hold it open to counter the spells basically. Dude, Realm, Realm Breaker is a sick card. Okay, let's draw two more cards. They can really draw a whole deck here with the sphere. Can even go Memory Deluge. Oh, that's that's totally fine. Get in the gate off the out of their hands, and again we just keep attacking and winning the game. Doesn't matter as long as they don't exile the Ren. You know, let's just attack with another um, another land here. End the game quicker. This is my final fight. Please, buy us more time. Discarded land. And again, we still have two uh, overcharged amalgams open. Yep, this is pretty sick. GG Seems like our opponent is salty Destroy the Ren. So Fine. Let's go to our turn and end this. Ban prison baby locked out of the game. Let's see, I don't like to keep two landers, especially when there's second. Okay, this is better. So we can ram right in, into and expand the sphere, but then we don't have anything else to do. Maybe we ditch this here, actually. Now let's ditch the sphere. Ditch the sphere. Go for expand the sphere. Let's see if we can resolve it. Can. Go for headquarters in the wastes. Okay. So.
relatively free here in what we get to do. And I think we just go for the winning play, which is lockdown. Into round breaker and we just see if we can kick the round breaker and go for the emblem here by cast expand the sphere and proliferating twice. Okay, that's not a haster. Mm. Submit zero, proliferate twice, get the emblem, let's go! Okay, the hardest part is over here. And let's uh, recast Ren. Now we just have to make sure that we don't die. So let's move some cards into the bin. Basically means that we drew some cards. Okay, that's fine. That's totally fine. Death courses through me. Hmm, what do we do here? I think. We could actually just go for memory deluge, we're 12 life. Yeah, it's probably best to slow down here a little. Let's do it now so it can get countered. That's another deluge. And let's go for absence. Our opponent might resolve in Urza. Ah! No! Oh my god! We got the emblem! I don't think there was anything we could have done there actually. Mm, I don't like the starting hand. This is better. Actually, we should have gone f farmland first. If we draw into an uh, Azusa's many journeys. Invoke despair, huh? Sure, exile your own invoke. I'm fine with that. Um, Azusa and Ren. Unfortunately, we can't deal with this trespasser. Now. You could play Ren and Royal Breaker and make a free free blocker, but if they have Liliana, that's really bad for us. But then again, if they do that, um, we'll still have a, a Zuda to follow up, so we won't fall behind in. Land counts? I think that's fine actually. Let's actually even attack here. I think that's the correct play. We lose the deluge, but we get to kill the trespasser. The trespasser, sure. Uh, 
And there is another deluge, that's great. So here we we just do this again, right? We make a free free blocker. And now we can hold open a deluge. And our opponent is at free mana anyway, so it's not like we're falling behind here. Oh damn, it's becoming 4-4. Four, four. It's fine actually. It's okay. Fine, we just block. Perfect. Let's find a depopulate. There we go. <gasps> Expand a sphere? Hell yeah. Hmm. Man, this is super tricky. So we can ultimate when and Realm Breaker here and then the Graver Glutton exhausts everything, but we have a sphere, so we can always draw into more stuff. So that's probably correct. Let's just get the ultimate out of the way. And since we only need one, um Since we only need one uh, loyalty counter, we can actually find a single land. So we still ramp a little bit. And now, um, sure, the Deluge is gonna get exiled, the Ren, but we follow up with the Depopulate. And we have the Emblem online, which is huge. And we can just go from there. Fine. I mean, opponent is gonna draw a bunch of cards, but it's okay. I'd rather him play Gigs than Sheeter it because we don't want to lose more life than that. This is already seven damage. What do you take? Doesn't exile the deluge. What? Very nice. More value for the populate. Now we can basically draw a card with sphere here for one mana. Let's play the land from the graveyard first. Populate. Go Azusa, and then we can play the Sphere. And now we we have enough Kartra anyway, so we don't even need Deluge. Um, we can. Should we bounce Shieldred? Let's bounce Shieldred actually. Let's draw two cards now. There's a revelry which I like. But we can play the revelry when they play Shieldred. So let's just replay the mnemonic sphere. And we got the sphere to cycle. Cycled now. And now we really just um Looking for our, what are they called? Overcharged amalgams. That's what we're looking for. Should we depopulate here? Yeah, probably, right? 
Let's get rid of the shield risk. And then we can draw a card with Reverie. And there is the Amalgam, let's go. Okay, now we can lock the uh, opponent out of this game. Yeah, we just counter the shield risk. Now they can in response kill this Amalgam, right? But we're already super far ahead. Again, we can draw cards regularly and let's make sure we also gain some life. Well, let's expand the sphere and hold open the amalgam. One land, okay. That's fine. Uh, we're really just looking for random land breaker here. So that we can actually start winning the game. Okay, obliterator lives, but you know we can just find or depopulates and everything. Draw some cards. Play the journeys. Get one more land down, and let's have two um two amalgams open basically. Just draw cards, find depopulate. No depopulate. But a memory deluge. I guess let's take an expand the sphere. Right? The more resources we get the better. Let's try to find depopulate to get rid of this obliterator. Still no obliterator, okay. So then I guess we just play the sphere. And again we hold open two overcharged amalgams. Discard the lockdown. Don't really care about the sleeper. Let's draw into more cards. Just to make sure we kill our opponent before we deck ourselves. And there's the depopulate, perfect. But now I think we got him. Because now we can depopulate and um, deploy Ren and Seven. And GG. Got two counter spells open. Nope. Our pawn can kill that, but we just recast it. Klein. Do this again. Okay, he actually got it on the board. But now we got Fateful Absence, so. Does not matter at all. And now we just keep attacking. My voice beckons to all worlds. Just keep playing our lands. And let's have three amalgams open here. With 13 mana. Oh, ban prison, baby!
Cut a reverie, deploy blade, deluge. Let's keep this. Some life, make some blockers. I guess let's just deploy the sphere here. Get it on the board. For some future cut draw. Hmm, it's in a track, so let's okay. So the depopulate is gonna be important here. The next turn they will probably reanimate the tracks, right? So let's try to get some mana advantage here at least. Right, this also fixes our mana because before that we only had one source of blue mana and couldn't cast these deluges. Yeah. That's fine, we have a depopulate. We have a depopulate and we can draw two cards with fear. What you got? Another Atraxa, a Fable. Another Cruelty, sure. Ah, uh, let's... let's draw two cards first. We might not even use the populate this turn yet. Actually, we won't do that. Instead, we play Azusa's. Play the waste, and we will just um, go memory deluge. We're 21 life. And if we kill a track, so they just play another um, Cruelty of Gigs. So this is way better because we get more mana on the board. Um, and get to draw more cards. Yeah, another Harvester, sure. Bankbuster, sure. Take the lockdown, it seems good. And I think let's take another. Let's take another land. Okay, farewell is something. Play the headquarters. But yeah, I think the best play here is to play play it populate and um, go for memory deluge again. Right? So 
I think the deal with this matchup is is that uh, our one farewell is our big blowout, right? And um, they probably don't really have ways of interacting with um, Ren once it's on the board. <coughs> So if we find a Ren, we might even be able to just plus it. Way up. Okay, Duress sucks actually. Oh, Duress and I get the Farewell. That's bad. Yeah. Yeah, duress is really bad. Uh, so this means we need to find another... Um, we need to find another depopulate or against the track so we can just find a... What's it called? A faithful Absence. Let's depopulate, let's take Reverie for some life gain. It also draws a card. <laughs> what we're really missing here actually is our Ren, right? We actually want to find Ren. Uh, so that we can get our emblem going, right? But Ren has been pretty shy so far. Sure, Fable. Our pain lands are also really hurting us here. Now there are all the rents and an expand. And an amalgam. Ooh. The amalgam is actually really interesting here. Mm-hmm. And they can just replay and attract and attack us with Bangbuster. But. Okay, which means I can't actually play the Random Breaker because then we're dead because of the Pain Land. So. I think we have to play the Lockdown. I think we got a little unlucky with drawing if we drew Random Realm Breaker earlier. This would probably would have looked differently. He discarded the attract, so. Okay, one amalgam is gone. Just something to keep in mind. And there comes another track, so... Hmm. 
Another cruelty. Okay, so let's start with Ren and Ren Breaker because by playing it, this means you don't take any damage anymore from casting all spells, and this deluge just has to find us to depopulate. Fateful Absence, something like this. Okay, there's the Absence. Uh, let's take another Deluge. And we do this now. I don't think they have a way of dealing with this waste. They haven't seen anything, right? I mean, they have Brotherhood's M, but this kills also kills the Corpse Appraiser. So, there's that. A Braid doesn't hit Ren. Yeah, they can just uh, get another Traxxer, sure. Do you have anything? No. So let's say we do ultimate attracts the next turn. Mm, it's not that helpful actually. Because we just need to depopulate here. So we have to block. Come on, just give me the populate off the top, please. Do it. Just give me the populate off the top. Mm. So we got the best chance of finding the populate by going. With this seven day lose, right? Yeah, so let's just go for it, right? Depopulate! No! Oh! Why? I feel like we were pretty close. Why? Where are our populates? Reverie isn't doing it. Damn. I mean, Reverie draws a card. Let's see what we get. I don't. Wait, maybe. If this draws exactly a Fateful Absence. We live in another turn. Damn it! Stupid attracts. If we had one more life, can we draw anything here? No. Ah, too bad. I think this was so close. If we had one more depopulate there, um, we would have lived another turn. Yeah. What's up guys, MTG Matthew back with another video and today we're going into a letter with a banned prison deck. It's only the second video of the expansion and I'm only, uh, already building a prison deck. Uh, full disclaimer, this deck is purely meant as a proof of concept, it's not competitive. But I do think the idea of this deck is very interesting and um, deserves more exploration. But for now, this is the version that I want to present to you. So, what is this deck all about? This deck is about the new Planeswalker, Ren and Ranbreaker. Let's actually put it here. Ren and Ranbreaker. So, it's a 3 mana, 4 loyalty Planeswalker in green. Has a static ability, lands you control, have tap at 1 mana of any color. So, it fixes your mana base green nicely. 
in this particular deck, this isn't a specific effect that does anything. We don't have any cards that are um, that have mana symbols outside of our mana base, but it's just a nice to have because we do run some paint lands, so this enables paint lands to tap for any color without damaging us. That's some nice stuff. But now let's take a look at the abilities. Plus one, you turn a land into a 3-3 free free with Vigilant, Hexproof and Taste until your next turn that's still a land. So uh, this is a very nice attacker because we got Vigilance and it's very resilient because of the Hexproof. Minus two, mill three cards. You may put a permanent card from among the mill cards into your hand. So in the early game, if you have nothing better to do and attacking doesn't, attacking doesn't really make sense, <coughs> You can play random Rollin Breaker, minus two, and for example, find a land. And then the minus seven is what really sparked the idea for the stack. It's you get an emblem with you may play lands and cast permanent spells from your graveyard. And this, um, there is no restriction on this. So if you play a permanent, it goes to the graveyard again. You can just play it over and over again. <clears throat> and so the idea of this deck is that we consistently get the emblem of random realm breaker and then once we have the emblem we lock our opponent out of the game with overcharged amalgam a rather old card from one of the illustrated sets it's a four mana free free flash flying and exploit and when it exploits a creature you counter target spell activated ability or triggered ability so what this means is once we have the emblem for, of uh, random realm breaker online what we can do is whenever our opponent plays a spell we play the overcharged amalgam it exploits itself right so you sacrifice it to itself and then you get to counter that spell and because you sacrifice it it goes back to the graveyard which means that you can just play it again and again and again and again and this way you can just counter all the threatening spells from your opponent and as long as you have the board cleared and some mana advantage you can just lock them out of the game and then you win the game simply by attacking with those free free um, lands you get from random realm breaker and that's the idea of the deck so the question here remains well how do you consistently get to ultimate random realm breaker now the beauty is that if you play ram and you plus her, I think it's her, and plus her one, she's at five loyalty. And then if she stays on the board for just one turn and the turn comes back to you, you get to cast Expand the Sphere, a uh, card from Phyrexia all we won. Four mana sorcery that says, look at the top six cards of your library, put up two land cards from among them onto the battlefield tapped, and then if you put fewer than two lands on the battlefield, this way proliferate a number of times equal to the difference. So when Red and Realm Breaker is at five loyalty, we can play Expand the Sphere, deliberately not find any lands to put on the battlefield, which means we get to proliferate twice, which puts Red and Realm Breaker exactly to seven loyalty, and then we can ultimate her right away. And this is how we consistently get to ultimate her and enable the rest of the game plan. And that's the idea of the deck, right? So we lock the opponent out of the game and then we just win with the land creatures from Ren Ren Breaker. So then the rest of the deck is really just here to control the game and survive. Uh, let's start with two copies of Fateful Absence. This is here to deal with Planeswalkers, but also against big creatures like Shirid, for example, or if your opponent plays Atraxa, stuff like that. Three copies of Sunset Reverie, again in the early game, gain us some life, get some blockers out. Then we got two copies of Mnemonic Sphere. This is the first time I actually played this card in the deck and it works really well in this deck. It's from the Kamigawa set. Two mana artifact in blue and you can pay two and sacrifice it to draw two cards. And it's also got the channel ability of uh, paying a blue, discarding it to draw a card. So in the early game you can discard this. And then because it's a permanent, once you got the Ren emblem online, you can just play it from the graveyard, sacrifice it, draw two cards, play it again from the graveyard. And this is just really in the late game, uh, our card range, right? You can just draw through our whole deck. Then run two copies of Azusa's Many Journeys to have some ramp in the early game. 
also a way to gain more to permanently gain life later in the game because it's also permanent so when this goes to the graveyard we can play it again play another land and then we gain free life and this can also become a free free blocker at three mana we got our four copies of random realm breaker and very importantly four copies of temporary lockdown as our early board wipe fantastic in this meta game four copies of depopulate as our just destroy our creature sport vibe. Uh, four copies of Memory Deluge as our big way of drawing cards. Four copies of Expand the Sphere. And at the fourth slot, we also got our two copies of Overcharged Amalgam. And finally, we run a single copy of Farewell to deal with all kinds of threats. In the land base, we run a total of 27 lands. And the only thing I want to mention here is that we run a single copy of Mirex, which can also act as an alternative win condition, uh, alternative to Ren and Realm Breaker. But also the mites you produce with Mirex uh, can be used to be exploited by the Amalgam. So this is another really nice synergy. And yeah, that's the deck. As I said, this deck isn't very competitive, but I just found the idea interesting. So hope you guys enjoyed today's video and I see you guys soon.